welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do our baby gear haul. So instead of doing a baby shower haul, um, we're pretty much at the last home stretch of our pregnancy. Um, so we've gotten pretty much everything that we need. Um, there's very few items that we have left to give. So I'm just going to go through everything that we've received or purchased throughout the entire pregnancy. Um, and everything that we have for our little baby uh, and it is a lot so I'm gonna try to go through it pretty quickly so that the video is not too long um, a couple things uh, specifically with his clothes like I'm not gonna go through every article of clothing that he's he's received because it would just take way too long I'll do a separate video where I can go through all his clothes and all his pajamas and shoes and everything like that. Um, kind of same thing with like blankets and stuff. I'll show a couple just to give a sense of what kind of style we like and what we decided to go with but I'm not going to go through every single item. But I will go through all the big items and most of the gifts that we received at our shower and just kind of everything that we have so far. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing in is our Blooming Bath Lotus. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, this is what we're going to bathe him in probably for a little while. It, it says it goes up to six months. I'm hoping to be able to use it a little bit longer, but I'm not sure how quickly he'll grow out of it. But I really like this because you can just stick it in the sink and give him a bath. You don't have to run too much water. Um, I don't think he'll get too cold. It seems pretty comfortable. Uh, and then the best part about it is that it doesn't take up any space. You can just throw it in your dryer and then either hang it up or store it underneath the sink or however it folds up very compact. So I really, really like that because I like things that um, aren't gonna take up too much space or create too much clutter. So I'm really, really excited about this bath thing. Kind of in the same category uh, is this waterfall bath rinser um, and this was given to us, it was something that I registered for but I believe it comes from Target. Um, it's the Skip Hop brand and so what I like about this is that it keeps the water and the soap out of the baby's eyes so I really want bath time to be an enjoyable experience for both of us and I just think that um, while this might be a little bit unnecessary, I do think that it'll be nice to just keep the soap and water out of his eyes. And then also, it is, you know, it does have the scoop function so I can use it to rinse him off. And um, I think we'll get a, a lot of use out of it. It's not too pricey, so I think it'll be a really, really good, you know, really good thing that we'll use at bath time. Uh, next, these are some items that we did get at our baby shower um, so the first is a safety first soothing cradle cap brush um, so what the reason I wanted this is because I guess it kind of helps if they get that cradle crap or, or the dandruff it just kind of help loosens those flakes and get them out of their hair or off their body so I thought that would be really good um, a nasal aspirator uh, this actually, uh, we are planning a home birth, so this was one of the items that was on our home birth supply list for the baby, and so I registered for that, and we did get, actually we did end up getting a couple of these, so that worked out perfectly, and he'll be able to use this as soon as he's born, because it's part of the home birth kit, so. Then we got a two-pack of nail clippers. And so it says one for the nursery and one for the diaper bag. So I'll definitely make sure I put one in the nursery and, and one in the diaper bag. I'm not sure if this is an item that people lose frequently or what, but I thought that was really cool that it came with two of them. And then he also got this nursery care health kit, which again, it comes with another nasal aspirator. This is actually, I'll probably more likely use this nasal aspirator for the birth kit because it's a lot tinier. Um, so I think this is probably more geared towards the newborns and then it also has the thermometer which again is also part of the health uh, the home birth kit and then it just has a couple of other items a toothbrush medicine dispenser a little gum brush um, and it has a traveling case also so I thought that was really cute 
<clears throat> the next item we have is a sun safety roller shade so this was an item that I registered for also um, we do live in very very hot Georgia so I thought this was perfect I don't have tinted windows um, I thought this was great to kind of keep the heat and the sun out of the back seat uh, where his car seat will be and then I like that it has this little white hot button uh, indicator to let me know like if the car still needs to cool down a little bit longer um, it lets you know like basically when the car is too hot to put the baby in the car so I thought that was really really cool another car item is the Diano or Diano uh, stow and go backseat organizer um, so this will probably more so come in handy when he's a little bit older but it does have several different pockets you can put a cell phone or an iPad um, there is pockets for juice cup or bottle books uh, and then it also has a little pocket that zips shut so you can put like extra pacifiers or baby wipes or things that you don't want to lose in the car um, so I thought that was perfect just to have things kind of quickly on hand rather than having to try to dig through the diaper bag or when he's a little bit older he can grab things himself so that was great this is really cool I really like the it's the Binksy baby shopping cart hammock um, so sometimes I, I saw that they have the shopping cart covers um, or people just kind of use their their car seat cover or their nursing shawl um, but I like this because you can actually t you know take the baby out the car seat when they're not able to sit up yet and lay the baby in the hammock um, but then it also you can put the car seat I don't know if you can see that you can sit the car seat in the hammock like some shopping carts I guess the car seat doesn't really fit well on um, so that would work out well for that and um, I'm not sure how much we'll use it but I like it's really small you can fold it up and keep it in your diaper bag or keep it in your car it doesn't take up a lot of space so it was definitely something that I wanted to at least try and it does it says use from birth until child can sit up unassisted so I think it is more geared towards the younger babies as opposed to those other shopping cart covers which are geared towards older babies so uh, the next thing this will definitely get a lot of use it's the uh, Frida baby Bitsy bundle of joy so it has several different uh, items that I really wanted um, the first is the snot sucker uh, not super excited about having to suck baby snot but I think that it'll really come in handy for when I do have to do that um, it'll make it a lot easier uh, and then the other thing is the Frida baby uh, it's the mom what's it called the mom washer which is similar to the peri bottles or the the water bottles that people get at the hospital but again because we are planning a home birth that's not an item that I'll receive so uh, I thought that that was good that it had that in there that I can use for postpartum situation uh, as and I can add that to my home birth supplies which I will do another video where I'll go through all my home birth supplies I know that's something that uh, people really want to see so um, I'll include that as a part of that video and go into a little bit more detail about that but the next thing uh, this is just kind of some random items but I thought this was so cute so my husband is really into sports and we spend a lot of time at the football field or at the softball field and he actually has this exact gym bag uh, he has a, a really big one, a large one, and then he has kind of a medium-sized one that he just takes to the gym with him. But it's actually a lunch box um, for kids. And I just thought it was really cute for him to put his little snacks in or his little toys when we go to the field. And since it is insulated, I can even keep uh, a couple of extra bottles of breast milk or whatever the case may be. I just thought it was really cute for him to have a little matching bag with his daddy. And, um, you know, he can use this when he gets older, um, like I said, to carry toys around or whatever he wants to carry around. When he's... So this is so cute. I have this exact baseball hat. And so he actually has one in an infant size and a toddler size. I think, like I said, it's really hot and sunny here. So I think he'll wear baseball caps a lot to keep the sun out of his face. 
Um, and I just really thought it was cute that I have one to match him. Um, again, here's a couple of postpartum items. I'll go into more detail about my postpartum items in my home birth kit video. But this is just a three pack of nursing bras that I got on Amazon. They were pretty affordable and they're really good quality. Um, they're stretchy and I wanted the kind of racer back style of sports bra and it opens in the front so that you can nurse. Um, and so I got a couple of these just I got a couple of different brands of nursing bras to try out um, some that I've actually already started wearing uh, during the pregnancy but I just wanted bras that are really comfortable really stretchy um, and you know that I could wear when I'm sleeping or when I'm just around the house and and these were um, ones that had really good reviews on Amazon so I wanted to try those out the next thing is Tux medicated cooling pads. So again, this is another item that's on the home birth uh, postpartum care list and it was really recommended by a couple friends of mine who've had babies recently. So I just wanted to pick up a box of these and you know, it's pretty self-explanatory what those are for. They're medicated cooling pads. So. The next thing I've got here is some um, Lansino or Lansinoa uh, Stay Dry Nursing Pads. Um, and I actually also have the Medela or Medela Nursing Pads. So I wanted to try a couple of different brands just to kind of see what works out better. And we received these as gifts um, from our baby registry at a baby shower. So it worked out well. I'll be able to kind of try them both out and then decide which one I like better and stick with that brand once I figure that out. Uh, again, another highly recommended item by my friends that have already had babies and have already been through breastfeeding is the Lansino Thera Pearl 3-in-1 Breast Therapy Packs. So you can put them in the freezer or heat them up in the microwave um, and they come with two one for each side and then they also have the little um, covers for them so if they're too cold or too hot it, it kind of acts as a barrier for you so I think these will get a lot of use. Uh, another gift that we received at our baby shower is the breast milk cooler set, uh, the Medela brand so um, it has a little ice pack and you can fit well, it comes with four bottles, and it looks like you can fit all four in the cooler, so that should work out really well for when I go back to work. I'll be able to pump and store the milk in the cooler until I get it home to freeze it or do whatever I'm going to do with it. So I was really, really glad that we got that. And then we also got a couple more sets of breast milk. Um, or Medela breast the breast pump compatible bottles um, so we've got zero to four months and then also four to twelve month so I guess not only is the four to twelve month bigger but it looks like it has a faster flow nipple uh, the zero to four has slow flow and the four to twelve has medium flow we got some breast milk storage bags so um, I, I pretty much registered for the Medela brand of everything just because that's the brand of breast pump that I had. So I think I thought that you had, they all had to be compatible, but I don't know. But anyway, so we received these as a gift. Um, so we'll try these out. But I've actually also heard really good things about like the Target store brands of breast milk storage bags. So this only has 25 bags. So I'm sure I'll be able to try out a bunch of different bags pretty quickly. Um, and kind of decide which ones I like best and which ones, you know, aren't going to be so good. So we're going to start out with the Medela ones and I definitely want to try the, the Target brand uh, storage bags also. And then we also got some Medela Lanolin uh, nipple cream. And this too was another item that was on the home birth care kit. So not necessarily the Medela brand, but just the, the Lanolin cream um, and I'm not sure if 
if that's specifically for for nipple care or if it's if there's some other use that uh, my midwife may get out of this during the home birth but I got it and then we also received some infant colic wipes or I'm sorry colic drops not wipes next is my breast pump so I actually got my breast pump through my insurance I'm using the Aeroflow uh, breast pump website and I can include a link down below how to how to use the Aeroflow website um, this video is not sponsored by Aeroflow by the way but I found it super super easy I definitely recommend it um, all I had to do was put in my insurance information in my midwife's uh, contact and Aeroflow took care of all the paperwork they took care of all the the business side of it and I literally had my breast pump the same week that I filled out the little form online so it was a super super quick turnaround um, I do know because I did uh, recommend Aeroflow to a friend of mine who was pregnant at the same time and her insurance was a little bit different than mine so she didn't receive her breast pump until she was um, I want to say until she was like 24 weeks pregnant or something like that but for my insurance they sent it to me right away I didn't have any issues and I got it pretty pretty early on the next item is a big one so this is um, another baby shower gift so this was the laundry basket that I had registered for and my friend was super super sweet she got the laundry basket and then she kind of filled it up with a bunch of cute items and just like laundry items and bath items and skincare and all sorts of different things and then I also stuck a couple of other items in here too um, so I'm just gonna go through some of those the first item uh, this my brother sent this to me it was a wooden baby brush set so I don't know if you can see that and I really really wanted him to have like a wooden brush set I don't know why I just thought they were really really nice and most of them were made of like all natural organic materials and I thought that would be really gentle on his skin and on his hair and then I just really fell in love with this idea of I don't know if I saw it on Pinterest or where I saw it but uh, the idea of engraving um, his name into the brush and just kind of something that he can kind of have as a keepsake that doesn't take up a lot of space but when he's older he can kind of see how small he was and just something that you know I thought I'd be able to keep for him for later so I really really wanted a nice brush that you know would hold up well and, and be durable so that was perfect for that um these are Aveeno hand and face wipes and we actually received a couple of packs of these so I plan to kind of put one in the car in that little uh, storage behind the seat storage or whatever and just kind of have them around the house um, it, it seems like these may be a little bit gentler than the regular baby wipes that'll be used during diaper changes so these will be perfect like it says for you know hand and face and, and I'll have those kind of just laying around because we got several packs of them and then we also got a pack of the boogie wipes and I heard mixed things about these um, I did want to at least try them out uh, and see how they compare to the regular baby wipes specifically for wiping the nose and especially since we're having a fall baby uh, I think you know that'll be when we'll have the heat running and his little nose may get stuffy uh, so I did want to at least give them a try and see if we like them and decide if we're going to continue using them or not uh, and then we got several bottles of Dreft which is what we decided to use for his clothes. I've actually already gone through an entire bottle of dress just washing all his clothes and all his blankets and we still have stuff to wash but um, I've definitely been getting good use out of it. Um, and then we also got some Dreft Scent Booster which I don't use a whole whole lot of yet just because um, I, I don't know how sensitive his skin is going to be and I don't think he needs a whole lot of that just the detergent alone leaves a pretty nice scent so um, I may use the the scent booster maybe when he's a little bit older but for right now I really haven't used it very much just yet um, he also got some aquaphor 
again this was an item that came highly recommended um, from our friends and specifically they just raved about how this the size this jug lasted them for so so long um, they were able to use it for the diaper changes for the baby's lips if they get a little bit chapped um, sometimes I guess their skin might get little dry patches and it's super super uh, gentle and you can just use it all over um, so I definitely was really really happy to receive a jug of that and then kind of just talking about his skin um, we did decide to go with the Cetaphil baby or Cetaphil baby uh, brands of shampoo wash and lotion um, the reason I ended up going with the Cetaphil brand is because I found that in comparison to other baby wash brands that it was kind of the least intimidating they didn't have as many different scents or different lines to choose from um, you know they didn't have like a nighttime or or they do have a eczema specific one but I just found theirs to be very straightforward and it had a really really nice scent to it um, it says that you know it's very very gentle and I've actually used Cetaphil uh, face wash and body wash when I've had sensitive skin so I just thought that you know we'd kind of stick with that uh, at least to try it out and so that's what we went with for that and then this is so cute we got a little rubber ducky that has a temperature kind of similar to that window temperature situation um, it'll tell us if the water is too hot so I think that's perfect because I like to take my showers really really hot and obviously that's not safe for a baby so um, it'll kind of help me you know I mean I'm sure I'll be able to tell if the water is too hot but uh, just in case that'll prevent any accidents from happening so that's perfect and he'll love playing with his little ducky so it it's kind of a, a two for one okay okay so this next item I'm really excited about this is the Daka Tot Plus Doc. So the next item is his diaper bag. Um, I had a really, really hard time deciding on a diaper bag and I finally landed on the Ryla backpack. So I originally thought I didn't want a backpack diaper bag, but I knew I wanted something minimalistic. I wanted something that uh, didn't necessarily look like a diaper bag um, something that would you know go nicely with my with my clothes or just kind of uh, not make me feel like it was just a like I don't know like diaper mobile so I just saw these on Instagram or maybe Pinterest or baby list or something and uh, they have this really really nice design they have a lot of pockets it's very functional um, and then the thing that I really liked about it is is that it has so many places to keep things organized um, and I don't know I just really really liked it and so I was really excited to get this as a gift and then kind of on that same note we got a breast cooler backpack as a gift uh, so this will be perfect when I go back to work this will kind of help um, in addition to the cooler bag that we got we can store uh, his pump in here and his bottles and just kind of use it when we're traveling or just any basically any time that I'm gonna need to pump and store his milk and, and the entire bag is insulated so that'll be perfect okay so next um, I'll kind of go through this really quickly I'm not gonna go through every single one that he received but so my job actually gave us a super, super awesome surprise diaper shower and book shower. Um, so we got a lot of books and diapers. Um, but I did just kind of want to go through a couple of my favorites. Um, so he got this On the Night You Were Born book. So this was really cute I thought it had really nice paintings in it um, so I'm really excited to read that one to him and then he also got this 
A is for activist book. So I, you know, obviously just kind of thought that was really different and a book that we could really enjoy reading together. And then again, it has really, really interesting paintings and the it, it's an alphabet book, but it kind of goes through uh, the alphabet with these very culturally and just kind of relevant terms and just things that'll be fun for us to kind of talk about and it helps kind of explain those things in a more child friendly way so I thought that was really cute and then these are so cute I've, I bought these books for him pretty much as soon as I found out I was pregnant I just really really thought they were cute they kept showing up on my Instagram and I wanted to make sure I got them and didn't forget about them but this is uh, AB to Jay-Z and then one, two, three with the notorious B.I.G. So it again, it goes through the alphabet and the numbers and kind of a hip, fun uh, way for, you know, for us together that we'll be able to do. And so I thought that was really, really cute. And then um, let me just see one more. He also, oh, this book. So one of my coworkers got him this. I thought it was so cute. It's the Guess How Much I Love You book but the thing I like about it is I've never seen books like this it's like squishy it's a board book but it's like a squishy board book so I guess like he can chew on it or um you know it's it's a little bit softer for him and I don't know I guess when they're a baby you know the squishiness is something that maybe he'll enjoy um so I really really like that and I'm probably gonna try to find more books that have this like squishy uh cover situation going on and then these are some books that I got for him. I'm really into journaling. Um, I've been able to keep up with a pregnancy journal. And so I kind of wanted to keep that going after he's born. So I got um, this actually was a book I got his dad for Father's Day. Um, so it's a little like book that his dad will fill out. For him and it just has little memories in it that they you know may have together um, and then it, it also has like kind of like holiday traditions and um, it says like a uh, family tree and stuff so I'm really really into like keepsakes and memories and so I thought that would be really cute for him to have um, specifically from his dad. The next keepsake book that I got for him is this 21 years book. So it's basically just a book that um, once a year on his birthday I can put a picture from the year and just write a couple memories down for him and I actually plan to do this without him knowing and then gift it for him when he goes off to college or whatever he decides to do. Um, so I thought that was really sweet. And then this one is just the typical baby book. So it goes through the first five years. The next thing is a padded car seat travel bag. We do travel a lot. So this is going to be perfect to kind of protect his car seat um, from getting ruined at the airport. And I think this would be perfect for us because it's like a book bag style. So when we're traveling, it won't, you know, it won't be something extra that we'll have to carry. But I do plan on taking his own car seat if we do go somewhere so this will be perfect to protect it and keep it from getting damaged okay so like I mentioned I'm not going to go through all his clothing items or all his blankets but I will show a couple um so here's some burp cloths that he got and I just love the color it's like a teal and gray I love gray black and white those are kind of my three staple colors which you'll see um, when we go through his clothes but I just thought these were really cute they have little dinosaurs on them um, so I really like those and then he also got some like baby blue and beige uh, bear and stripes burp cloths and then he got some little mittens so cute um, some bibs so he's got a couple of different kinds of bibs uh, these are the same as those dinosaur burp cloths and then he got some like gray and beige which will definitely get used these will match a lot of his outfits and then he also got these cute little safari black and white gray bibs so cute 
Um, and then some more mittens. Um, for his clothes, so uh, we received a lot of advice about the pajamas that we should get the zipper ones more so than the button ones that it just makes it a lot easier for changing them. So he has quite a few of this style of like zipper uh, one piece pajama that you know he can kind of wear around the house and wear to bed. I think they're called like sleep and play or pack and play or something like that. So he has quite a few of these. And then I also got him or he received also some of these like little not leggings but like jogger pants. He's got some of these in different colors and styles. So I guess he can wear these like around the house um, with just like a onesie or uh, probably not necessarily for pajamas but I would just think of these as kind of like lounge clothes. And then some socks. And some little hats. And then we got quite a few packs of just like the plain white um, onesies and we got some short sleeves and long sleeves so I think these will be good as like underclothes uh, you know he can wear them underneath his outfits or wear them underneath his pajamas so he got quite a few of those and then I just wanted to show like two really really cute outfits that he received as gifts so uh, he is due in early October so he, he'll be too small to wear a costume for Halloween but he got this super cute it says mama is my boo and it has the little matching hat and pants so he'll definitely wear this on Halloween um, since he won't be able to wear a costume I just think that's super super cute to still be festive and Halloween is a holiday that I really enjoy um, just kind of I love fall and everything so I'm really excited to be able to dress him up even if he can't wear a costume and then this little outfit I registered for um, it's supposed to be like his first outfit or um, I think I guess you call them like take home outfits but he's going to be born at home so but I still wanted like a cute special outfit that I knew he'd wear as his first outfit so my brother bought this for him so it's just like a little mustard colored hat and joggers and it's like organic it's super super soft it'll be super gentle on his skin and then it just has this little gray in black um, lined striped or whatever you want to call it a uh, onesie to go with it so that's so cute and then he got a couple of little toys just little rattles and different little soft toys that he received as gifts and then also we have um, his pacifiers that we're going to use so we decided that he's going to at least start out with the Natur Sutan or Nature Sutan pacifiers so they're they're all organic um, they don't have any kind of chemicals in them it's a hundred percent natural rubber uh, I read really good things about these so I really hope he likes them and then we also got these super cute like pacifier clips that he can attach the pacifier to his clothes or you know to his car seat or whatever just so he doesn't lose them. So the next thing is uh, the ring sling carrier so I'm really really super excited to use this um, it's just basically self-explanatory it's the ring carrier that you kind of just put over you and you put the baby in it and then you can tighten it using this ring so I'm really excited to use this like kind of around the house when I want to carry him um, but I don't necessarily want to use the big uh, carrier that I plan to use for hiking and things of that nature and that's this one right here so I chose the Lily or Lily baby uh, complete original carrier so it's like a six in one and I am a big hiker so I thought this would be perfect it's super breathable it has a lot of different positions that you can carry the baby in and it says you can use it from newborn to 48 months um, so 
I thought that was really, really good that I'll be able to get a lot of use out of it. The next thing is the Little Lunar Neck and Head Support. So that goes with his swing. Um, he does have the For Moms Mamaru swing, which I'll show. Um, but this is just kind of the newborn insert to kind of help with support when he's just a little itty bitty baby. Next, we have the baby monitor. So we ended up choosing the Owlet camera and a smart sock. So this will monitor his heart rate and it'll monitor his oxygen levels. And then we'll also be able to see him um, when he is sleeping in his own room. So it was like a little, you could either just get one or the other or both. So we ended up getting the kit that included both of them. Um, next we have some blankets. So he has a couple of different kinds of blankets. We've got like the muslin swaddles. So he has several different kinds of those. Uh, this one's so cute, has dinosaurs on it. I really like dinosaurs, so anything that has a dinosaur on it, I think it's pretty cute. And then he also has like these flannel blankets, which aren't super soft, but I thought they'd be good to use like as birth cloths or just like if I wanna lay on something that I you know don't want him touching directly. Um, I thought that these would be good to kind of have. So we got quite a few packs of those. And then he also received these really cute stuffed animals. So these were both gifts. So I thought those were so cute. So he's got like a little bunny and then the little sock monkey, which when I was a kid, I always wanted one of these and I never had one. So I think that's pretty awesome that he already has one. And then this is his bassinet. Uh, it's the Restoration Hardware um, Moses basket. And it does actually have a stand rocker that uh, goes with it, but it hasn't arrived yet. Um, we received that as a gift also. So um, once that is all set up, I'll probably be able to show it like when I do my nursery tour. But I'm really excited, you know, for him to have like a safe place to sleep. And then once um he's outgrown the bassinet i think it's really cute because i can use it for storage or like to put his stuffed animals in so it'll kind of continue to get used even after he's no longer um small enough for the bassinet so these covers are really really cute i got them from etsy so they're actually the boppy covers um we did get both the um like the u-shaped boppy and the lounger boppy um so i i just got these covers for them just to kind of keep them clean and um i can wash these like if he spits up on them or otherwise gets messed uh, messes them up i can just throw them in the washer and then put them back on the boppy and um just kind of keep them in in good shape and then next what we've got is a couple of his sweater outfits so this is like clothes that if he's going somewhere where I want him to have like a nicer outfit on um, especially because like he's going to be born during the holidays so we'll have Thanksgiving dinner Christmas dinner Christmas pictures so a couple different times where I'm sure cute sweaters will come in handy and then this I'm really excited to show. This is actually kind of like a family heirloom or I don't know if you would call it an heirloom, but um, it's been passed down in our family. So my nephew, my very first nephew is 18 years old now. He's actually about to be 19 and he used this when he was a baby. And it's just kind of any baby that's been born in the fall or the winter in our family has kind of worn this. So I'm excited that um, our little boy will be able to wear this like when I go hiking or when I take him for walks and it's cold outside. It'll keep him super, super warm. Um, and it's kind of sweet that it's something that's just been in our family for so long. Um, the next thing I'll just show, we did decide to go with the Pampers Swaddlers, uh, at least to, to start it out. Um, I've gotten a lot of advice about the diapers, like 
you know, you, the baby's going to decide the diapers. But I did want to at least start somewhere. And I wanted to start with the Pampers Swaddlers. So we got all Pampers Swaddlers um, and Pampers Sensitive Wipes and the Pampers Pure Wipes. So next we have the... Um, it's an indoor outdoor booster seat so I think this is going to be really great to use like just to sit him down in in the house or if we go like I said his dad plays football if we go out to the field um, he can sit in this and eat or play and it's you know something that we can use both in the house and when we're traveling and it's super super compact and foldable so I thought that was really really cool Next we have the Mama Roo Swing. It's pretty heavy. Um, so this is when, um, obviously when we're in the house, this will be what he probably sits in most of the time. I guess, I hope he likes it. I've heard mixed things about the Mama Roo, but that was the swing that we decided to go with. So this is a little bit smaller than the, the Mama Roo swing. So I thought this was perfect. Like if I want to bring him in the bathroom with me while I'm like taking a shower or if I'm cooking. Um, I don't think that the Mama Roo swing will be as easy to move around. So I really wanted kind of like a separate seat that still gives that um, swing feel. Like it has the bouncing and the vibrations. But it's something that I can move all over the house. Uh, probably more so when he's a little bit older and then it comes with the cutest little tummy time mat and we got quite a few tummy time mats but um, I thought this was really cute that it came with both so that'll most likely be the mat that he ends up using so next we have the Ingenuity Smart Clean Trio Elite 3 in 1 high chair so I really like this high chair because um, obviously when he's first introduced to uh, sitting up and eating solids, he can sit in the regular high chair function and then as he gets older it has like a booster seat and a toddler smart chair so I think that's perfect. He'll be able to use this for a really really long time. And last but not least is his one of my favorite items of his. Um, I really 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 cannot stress how much I cannot wait to push this little boy around in his stroller. Um, I got the Urban, um, the Kiko Urban Fit 2 uh, stroller, com stroller car seat combo. So right now it has the infant seat attached to it. Um, but it actually also has like a toddler seat that you can just simply, uh, you press these buttons here and you remove the, to uh, the car seat and then you can insert the toddler seat and I really liked that it had like these big, like thick wheels. So that'd be perfect for all our trail walking. And again, it, it was a car seat stroller combo that can really grow with him, but it's really, really modern and compact. So it'll fold down into the car really easily. Um, and I'll link this stroller down below because again, like I said, I can't stress how much I really, really love this stroller. So that's everything that we received or purchased uh, for our baby boy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions or comments about any of the products that I've mentioned, um, I'll try to link as many of the products down below as I can. Um, or if you have any suggestions about what worked for you, what products we maybe missed that you think we would really, really need or use, um, or if any of them didn't work for you and you think that, you know, there's a better uh, option out there, um, definitely let us know. We really appreciate you watching and hope that you'll subscribe to our channel and kind of continue to follow us on our parenting journey. Um, and again, as I mentioned several different times, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about home birth, we're super, super excited to share um, that journey with everyone and uh, hope that you'll stay tuned and watch uh, some of our future videos.